para sa ating uh, what's new sa panahon ng holiday rush. Sobrang hirap kumuha po ng taxi na masasakyan kung hindi mahaba ang pila ay namimili naman o namimili ng uh, isasakay ang, at, ang ating mga driver. Buti na lang mas pinadali na ngayon ang uh, pagkuha ng serbisyo ng taxi sa pamamagitan ng Easy Taxi app sa inyong mobile phone. At upang ipaliwanag sa atin ng mechanics, kasama natin si Mr. Mario Berta, ang uh, Managing Director ng Easy Taxi in Southeast Asia. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome morning. to Good Morning, Kuya. Welcome to Good Morning, Kuya. Good morning, Kuya. Good morning, Kuya. Thanks for inviting me again. Thanks. All right. Hi, Mario. Can you please tell us what is Easy Taxi all about? Sure. Easy Taxi is a, is a taxi booking application which allows you to book uh, a cab uh, from your phone. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you you are required to have internet connectivity, mm -hmm. either either 3G or Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. and with uh, just simply pressing two buttons, you will be able to book uh, mm -hmm. to book a cab. Mm -hmm. We are the world's biggest taxi mm -hmm. application. We are mm -hmm. present in more than 20 countries. Uh, wow. Here in Asia, we are in Thailand, Philippines, Vietnam, Singapore, Hong Kong, Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, so that makes us a truly global app. In fact. With the very same applications, mm -hmm. you can travel in any country where we are. You don't even need to download the new ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. Yeah. How long has this been running here in the Philippines? We are breaking on the fifth month now. Oh, okay. Very fresh. Yeah. So, uh, ganda, no? At least, mm -hmm. naibitahan natin right away sa good morning, Kuya. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, can, can he understand that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Konti lang. Konti lang. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rina, here we go. Question. If, for example, you use the app, yes. uh, for how long will you be able to get a taxi? It really how much fast? depends. You know, it's more fun in the Philippines in every in every <laughs> sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, rush hours. Traffic. Rush hours can be can be complex. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a system that uh, optimize the radius. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if you if you initiate the request from Makati. Mm -hmm. Uh, most likely our driver in Quezon City will not see the request. Yes, it's pointless true, yes. because if they accept, it will take them an hour to get there in, in, in specific part of the, of, the, of, the, of the day. So mm -hmm. how, how do we download the application it's and uh, how do we sign up for the application? Yeah, so it runs on uh, iOS, mm -hmm. uh, iPhone iOS and Android, mm -hmm. any Android device. So you simply uh, type easy, space, Taxi space meaning is it free? Yes, it is. Okay. Of course, <laughs> the, the download is for free. But uh, um, the reason why uh, we call ourselves a global app is because we localize it in each country. Mm -hmm. To give an idea, Philippines and Thailand are the only country in the world where we charge uh, a booking fee to the passenger. Mm -hmm. um, because if you think about it, the average ride in Manila is three dollars. Mm -hmm. So if we need to charge one dollar to the driver or eighty cents to the driver, the driver already making very very little money throughout mm -hmm. the day. Mm -hmm. It will not be sustainable for the driver. So, so how much is it? The Seventy pesos. Seventy, 70 pesos. pesos today. Now we're running a promo with Smart, uh, which every Smart user can mm -hmm. basically have. A, we waive it. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is until the twenty seventh of December. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we'll charge in seventy pesos on top of the meter fare, and we revenue share with the driver. That allows us first to run our operations. And second, also to have the drivers to increase his disposable income. How, how, may, oh yeah. how yeah. many taxis have enrolled in your... We have more than a thousand mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. enrolled. So yes. and, and how do you take care of these uh, taxis, the taxi drivers? Yeah, that's an excellent question. We are, we, yeah, we are, we are very proud of uh, what we do for our drivers. We consider our drivers much more than simple drivers. We consider them like part of the family. Mm -hmm. uh, very recently, uh, we ran uh, uh, Easy Taxi Got Talent. We went in a garage and we engaged the driver with a singing context and mm -hmm. the driver who won won a TV screen. Mm -hmm. wow. And everybody were, had food and the wives of the drivers were there, etc. Yeah. So it, it is very interesting under a corporate social responsibility standpoint. Mm -hmm. uh, in countries in, in Asia, uh, we do this a lot because if you think about it, in Brazil or in Singapore, uh, a taxi driver has a very decent salary, right? Mm -hmm. Here yes. in the Philippines, he's struggling yeah. most yeah. of the time. Uh, he has his financial cycle is 24 hours. Yeah. So if he, if he doesn't make enough rides, yeah. most likely he's not yeah. going to have food, right? Yeah. And that's very much unique in uh, in most of our countries. So that we really put a lot of emphasis in our in our corporate social responsibility. And based on your study, how um, what's the percentage rate of of increasing the number of rides of the taxi uh, driver? Well, uh, according well, once they enrolled. they enrolled in Easy Taxi. Yes, well, it takes time for the driver to be really engaged. Mm -hmm. uh, at the very beginning, they don't really understand that there is mm -hmm. a there is a whole technological mm -hmm. infrastructure yes, behind yes, them. True. They believe, ah, oh, cool, I have a phone, yeah. etc. Mm -hmm. uh, we see that uh, a driver that got engaged can get 
10, 10, 12 rides a day, mm -hmm. that means he can increase his disposable income on a daily basis by 40%. Wow, that's a so lot. That, that's, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's good, lot. that's a lot. That's and a you lot. give them free phones, right? We microfinance uh, the phone Finance. for them, we give them data connectivity with mm -hmm. Smart, wow. our, our telecom partner, and uh, yes, we microfinance the phone. And also, this is unique, it's the only country in the world where we microfinance phones, because yeah. Yeah. in Brazil, in because Korea, in Singapore, everybody has a phone. Would that yes. be an iPhone 5? <laughs> <laughs> yes, S Gold, no. <laughs> <laughs> Being a driver. Come on, you have a question. Yes, uh, how do you choose your taxi drivers? Because you can't, uh, you can't uh, mm. guarantee always that all the taxi drivers that sign up are the taxi drivers who are responsible. Yeah. Who That's are, an excellent question. Yes. Uh, we, uh, as we put emphasis on corporate social responsibility, we also put emphasis on safety yes. mm. of our passengers. We interview each single driver. Uh, we work for, for instance, Arini. Uh, which is one of the leading uh, companies yeah, here in Manila. Yeah. Uh, we sit down with each single driver. We have a permanent satellite office in their garage mm -hmm. uh, and we co keep constantly communication with our driver. Uh, if something happens, we have a 24-7 customer service. They can actually monitor the rides real time. We know your position, we know the taxi driver position, uh -huh. we know the number plate of the car, we have the pictures of the driver, we have the documents of the driver. Uh, we keep constant communications with uh, with every driver. Mm -hmm. So do you time. also coordinate with, uh, let's say, for example, PNP or the traffic management group or NBI? No, we don't, we don't coordinate with traffic uh, okay. management group. Uh, the communications real time gets can get really really mm -hmm. tricky, right? No, I mean, I mean, this is this is with regard to when the person applies to be yeah. included into your clearance, yeah. NBI yeah. clearance. No, the, our, clearance. we do what we call KYC, know your customer, uh, by simply interviewing the driver, taking picture oh. of the the documents we upload them in our system yes. and we store them on the cloud and so the passengers can also see the absolutely. credentials of the driver yes. right oh, yes and they cool. can that's even cool. have a screen capture and then send it to uh, their whoever, whoever can whoever. share it on yeah. social media yes yeah uh, I have another question um, okay some uh, some individuals find it hard to connect to Wi-Fi and uh, you know 3G, 3G. 3G. how about uh, do you have any uh, hotline number we have a hotline be, uh, number for, to be accessible for some yes we basically, all the time you initiate the requests, okay, we can see this from our system. If we see that you lose connectivity, because for instance, the, the app is not sending more information, mm. we call you. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, Our good. customer service is really, really active on that. But ideally, uh, yeah, it's just a matter of making things automated, like phone penetration yeah. is growing in this country, internet penetration is growing yeah. in this country, mm -hmm. uh, it's becoming more affordable. Mm. So we're really looking uh, over the world is going, and that's what we've been doing every time. Every time we open a country, we're basically pioneer in, mm -hmm. uh, in this industry. And, mm -hmm. and if you think about it, nothing has changed in 100 years. How, how you book a cab in San Francisco, Rio de Janeiro, yeah. Rome, yeah. It's always yeah. like this, yeah. right? Yeah. So we are really changing the transportation industry of oh, this, this country. This is great news, no, Rina? Yes. Mm -hmm. Rina, well, <laughs> then you better you write taxes now. Any more announcements for the public? <laughs> well, I just would like to invite the public to download the app uh, from the Apple Store or Android. And uh, be safe, Easy Taxi is, is with you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mr. Mario Berta, Managing Director of Easy Taxi in Southeast Asia. And thank you for sharing that application with us and what you're doing for thank our uh, Filipino taxi drivers.